We're in the city of Tustin, and I'm here with Bo. Bo, where are we? We are at the Marconi Automotive Museum. How long has this been here? We've been here since 1997. My husband Dick founded it. We used to race cars, all open wheel cars and uh, Ferrari and the Formula Ones. And he bought this building and it was an old salad oil manufacturing facility that had gone out of business. And then he moved his car collection in and all the race team and all the mechanics and all the equipment and thus the Marconi Automotive Museum was born. My goodness, how big is this facility? We haven't been inside yet. How big is it? We're about 15,000 square feet. Okay. And we've got about wow. 75 cars, and we um, specialize in high performance street cars and race cars. So Dick always has liked Italian motor works. So Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Maserati. And what about the motorcycles that line the walls? Well, there? a lot of the motorcycles are Italian also. He loves Ducatis. Ah. And um, we've got a, a Ducati that's the only one in America. We host a lot of special events. We do bar mitzvahs and weddings and corporate events and holiday parties. And we take a portion of the net proceeds and then we give that to different at-risk children's charities in Orange County and beyond. Mm. So we want people to know about us, not just to come and see the cars, but we want people to come here, have their events, because then that helps us give back to our community. Oh my goodness, <laughs> come on now. Fancy cars. Wow, this is, looks like really low to the ground. Yeah, so this is an F40. This was made to commemorate Ferrari's 40 years in business. And so they only made about 240 of them. We are very fortunate to have one. So you talk about the ride height, that's what we call it, how low it oh, is okay. to the ground. Yeah. So when you start the car, it will adjust and you can feel it go and it goes up just a little bit, but not very much. So you can see how difficult it would be to go out of a driveway, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So in cars like this, you actually go out sideways. Wow. And the one here, this is an F50. So this one doesn't look nearly as low to the ground as that one looks. No, well this has ride height also. This oh, just sits okay. higher. This sits higher. Okay. Uh -huh. But this is made of carbon fiber. So if you look at the paint job, you can see it has a honeycomb oh, effect. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's carbon fiber. And wow. the significance of that is that it is really um, lightweight. It's got a downgraded Formula One engine in it, so it's one of the fastest cars around. So the cool thing about the F40s is that when you get full on the throttle and you lift off, flames shoot out the back. No way! Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about this, this one right here next to it? Okay, so this is an old, old car, and it's unusual because Dick never wow. really wanted to have old cars in the museum, but this is the 53rd car that Enzo Ferrari ever built. So all the Ferraris that have been wow. built over the years, number 53 and it's called a 195S, and there are only three of them left in the world. 1950, wow! This is awesome! Oh my goodness. Does this one have flames flying out of the back as no, well? No, no it doesn't, but I'll tell you, this car is the loudest car in the museum. Oh really? It doesn't look like it would be. It oh. is the loudest car. The kind where you have to hold your ears, it's so loud. One of our pride and joys is this blue car. Wow, now, look at that blue. You'll mm. never see another blue Ferrari most likely, especially you will not see one this exact shade. Why, you may ask, is that the case? It is because this particular car is a one of a kind and it was made for the Sultan of Brunei. The Sultan will not take possession of it, so if you want to buy it, now's the time. So Dick bought it. But the, it has got the, the color blue because this was a special request mm -hmm. by him to make this car. This is another really important car. So between the FX, the blue car, and this one, mm -hmm. they're probably our most valuable cars. This is the most valuable because it was the first year that Michael Schumacher drove for Ferrari. So he's a multi-titled world champion Formula One driver. This is our mascot called Bumpers. Oh and it is made of car bumpers. Remember in the olden days when and they were made of steel. <laughs> yeah. So an Not artist. Plastic and foam and right? all that now. Yeah. Yeah, so that's all car bumpers, and that's our mascot representing horsepower. That, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This is one of people's favorite cars. It's not the most valuable car, but because of the movie, <laughs> yeah. everybody loves this car. <laughs> wow, look at these. Oh okay, my so let me tell you about the purple cars. Yes. I used to race cars, and so I raced in the Ferrari Challenge Series. This car was originally red because, you know, all Ferraris are red, <laughs> and um, they wanted to sell more cars to women, Ferraris to women. So I said, well, the thing is, when you've got 40 Ferraris out there and most of them are red, nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. 
so I'd like to paint it. And they said, okay, what do you want to do? Well, if you look on the wall behind it, that is a Formula Ford purple yeah. that we call the Atomic Blueberry. And I said, we've got to turn this purple also. So we did. <laughs> so did, it's huh? the second Atomic Blueberry. So you race in yeah, this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I raced in the top five out of a field of 40 men. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, it was How, great. When was this? It was in the 90s, <laughs> mid 90s. When you race an open wheel car, the steering wheel, just the slightest amount of turn will actually turn you this far, whereas a regular car, you yeah, really have to. So there's a, a big difference between the two. Open wheel cars, it's like a go-kart. You're way close to the ground, lots of wind noise. and So it takes a while to get used to, but very fun. These are Dino Ferraris, back to the Ferraris. This was Dick's very first car that he ever bought. And at the time, these cars were about $16,000 and now they're upward of 400,000. So people, that's why people get into cars as investments. This is one of about nine left. It was made by Jaguar and it was made to race. So it's actually the fastest car in the museum. This is um, zero to 60 in three seconds. Right behind you, yes. this car, Shelby, was used in the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. So the Foley artist came down and used her engine noises along with some of the other cars in the museum. This was um, commissioned by Oscar de la Hoya when he won the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And Dick knows Oscar, they're friends, and so Oscar put the truck in here. But um, you want to make sure you look all the way around the car because it's gold-plated hydraulics and sound system in the <laughs> oh back. Oh my goodness, check this out, yeah. wow. That's the best part. That's got to be one of the biggest sound systems ever. Yes. <laughs> that is yep. unbelievable. He meant business when he had this made. This car right here, this is called a Suzetta, and it's one of 14 made. So we've got a lot of cars in here that you won't see too many places, if any place. Mm -hmm. And it was created, as you can see, by somebody who used to work for Lamborghini. So mm. the lines are similar, but the back end is really different. The front end is more similar, but check out the width of the tires. And this is the car I was telling you about that's right-hand drive that's also a stick. So another masterpiece in the collection is this Gullwing. Back in the 50s, they didn't have all the luggage choices that we have now. So yeah. you'll notice the luggage in the back, they handmade luggage. Once you bought the car, oh, you got a set no. of luggage to go in it so that you can travel. I wasn't joking, there are cars in the rafters up here. What is the story behind that car right there? So that car is a Fiat that has been decoupaged. Sometimes it is actually down on the floor and you can see the seats, the steering wheel, the columns, everything wow. has, has been decoupaged. Obviously there is tons of eye candy to see here, but it looks like you have, you know, not just cars to view, you have trophies and, and uh, what else do you have here? Well, we've got lots of memorabilia um, signed um, memorabilia from different race car drivers, um, artist renditions of cars. There's a little something here for everybody. That's good. Well, Bo, I so appreciate your oh, time. Oh, it's my Thank pleasure. Thank you so much. And I'll just, I'll take this one. Uh, uh, you know, it's for sale. Okay, it's for sale. Take just it out for a it, test run. Put it on my tab. And it matches you. Okay, this is the one that wants uh, lots. Okay, well then fine, I'll take the Corvette. Oh, <laughs> it's open. Mm. She said before we started, they're all locked. They will be. <laughs>